I want to understand what our relationship to nature is more. Our relationship to, you were um, discussing when you see a butterfly, when you see a bird, it raises your own vibration. I have a sense, I live in Colorado and I spend a lot of time outside and whenever I see the mountains or feel the snow, it feels so good. So I want to understand what it is about those things that, that affects our vibration. Well, it's easy to see something beautiful and understand why you might like it. But your question is deeper than that. And we're happy to talk about it because in nature, there is this alignment that we're talking about. The beasts of your planet are so much more in vibrational alignment with the vibrational version of themselves. In other words, they, they are for the most part really tuned into the frequency of who they are. And so when you hold something in nature as your object of attention, first of all, the fact that you're drawn to notice it is an indication that you're in the vicinity of the vibration of it. Otherwise you would be drawn to notice something different. Mm -hmm. So what you're talking about, once it reaches the sort of compounded state where you are experiencing it, we would like to say to you that you're in the vortex and then from your vibrational stance in the vortex, you are co-creating with things of a, uh, of a uh, nature nature because uh, your frequency is already one that is in alignment. And so other things that are in alignment would naturally come into your experience. And your ability to explore the, the beauty of nature, the, the, we, we started on a, a conversation briefly just a little bit ago and, and didn't follow it out, but the, the basis of it is this, when you are in, when you get into the vortex and then, now because your frequency is in sync with the wholeness of you, now your ability to interpret vibration on all levels is keener. From inside the vortex, your ability to interpret vibration, you only have access to vibration that is at the highest level. In other words, you would, you would not find an animal outside of its alignment. If you were in the vortex, the universe just wouldn't sync you up with something like that. Even though there are animals who can get out of the vortex with enough um, influence. So what we're really getting at is that nature is the best representation of vibrational alignment that surrounds you. And when you find a way to come into vibrational alignment, then your relationship with nature is affected by your alignment. We want to say it's not that nature is adjusting your vibration. It is that your vibration is attracting the nature that you are interacting with. There are a lot of people living in beautiful places that don't feel the beauty or find the beauty of the place. There, there are a lot of people that are living what by comparative standards would be the best of life experience and they are really grouchy and not joyful. So it isn't that nature is adjusting your vibration. It's that in alignment, you can discover nature in emphatically more delicious ways to the point where you could be on a ship and the moment that you look out is the moment that the whale jumps and displays his lovely tail for you. Or, or, you, or you could be nowhere near a window and feel an impulse to go. And five minutes later, the, the whale will jump again for you. In other words, so the question is, was the whale going to jump? And was I inspired to go look? Or did my being on the way to the window cause the whale to jump? And we say, inside the vortex, there is the cooperative components where the whale is a cooperative component drawn to that moment in time and you were a cooperative component drawn to that moment in time. And the depth of your ability to interact with things that are what you call nature is something that has scantily been tapped by the majority of people who share this planet. Most people are not approaching their planet from inside the vortex. But when you are, you'll rendezvous. Esther saw the green flash when the, when the sun went into the sea. 
She's looked for that green flash for years. And now it just shows itself to her. In other words, she's driving. She says to Jerry, have you ever seen a green flash? Why is she thinking about a green flash? Because those of us who are in her vortex know the timing of the sun dropping into the sea. It's not quite like that, but you know what we mean. <laughs> the timing of Jerry and Esther's traveling to the restaurant, the timing of their rendezvousing at the top of the street that looks right down into the ocean, right at where the sun is. In other words, everything that is necessary to be known about everything is known by your inner being inside your vortex. So the more time you spend in vibrational alignment with your vortex, the more the universe is yielding to you the, through the crack of least resistance, the circumstances and events in order to give you the surprising and delightful life experience that you are worthy of receiving. That's our best discussion about nature, you see.